So we move on, uh, people, and uh, Ali was liaising um, uh, with uh, people at the Papageo um, nightclub, um, a, a manager, and um, also did get some information off one of the directors as well. So let's just get straight into this. Oh, where do these people come from? Don't they have any respect for others? I really don't know. Um, that was actually people in the chat, and I think it actually put a lot of people off, um, you know, which is not good. You know what I mean? And like I said, it was hard. I know what people are thinking. It was hard to sort of look at the chat and the rude comments uh, coming in and actually concentrate in on the live as well. It is hard, but people have gone through it a second time and have said that they understand it a little bit more. Um, was expecting a lot of information, but like I said, we have to be careful in what we actually put on. Um, yeah, so he um, he did say that um, they'd invested a lot of money and, and you know they weren't going to have any any messing around. Mm -hmm. And um, their security staff were all trained up that they would um, help anybody out. Now, if Jay had lost his hotel key, okay. There was also stewards there that could, you know, as he said, wherever they go, there's always a spare key because of the cleaners going in the following day to, you know, make the beds or clean up or whatever or clean the bathroom. And I mean, if you go to a hotel in Tenerife or anywhere abroad, you know, you usually do get somebody that comes in the following day to, to make sure that your place is clean and tidy and change the towels and that. Do you know the director, Ali? He didn't even mention that um, the, to you, did he, that the club had um, closed uh, due no. to someone collapsing in that club? No. And that was the reason, and because they didn't want it on, the, on, on their premises? No, they didn't want it on their premises because they just spent all this money, nearly a million pounds, uh, you know. Refurbishment. They, uh, refurbishment and training and goodness knows what, and they've got a good setup now. Um, I think they're expanding this year, oh, for goodness sake. Um, I just, um, I take my hat on, off to them. They've done all this to, and then you, you're faced with an incident like that. Mm -hmm. No, the manager was quite right to say, out the door, people, you know, um, I'm closing it up. But what time I, that was, I don't know. But the, obviously the police had gone in there. Yeah, the police had gone in. Investigated yeah. it. And obviously, they were the ones that took the CCTV. Obviously, yeah. Well, we knew them. they'd taken the Skyline one on the 17th. So, you know, they're not going to go in and just take one lot from Skyline, are they? They're, they're going in to, to do the rest, you know. Because obviously, that was um, sort of very crucial. Uh, I know we've got um, pictures and uh, um, of uh, a lot of private messages. Uh, I, I think some people were actually there, but um, especially in the early days, were sending messages that were, were maybe really afraid um, to say something um, yeah. at the end of the day. Obviously, um, a lot of this information has been um, sent on to um, the police and um, different things um, as well uh, at the end of the day. But um, Ali, it is just um, unbelievable sort of what we didn't know um, about, obviously, the boat going on to Masca. Because, um, uh, yeah, that I mean, I just was astonished at that because, um, I didn't know that I didn't know that there was a boat party, for instance. I knew there was parties, but I didn't even bother to look at that, to be honest with you. Um, I just want to make a point, uh, people, that, um, uh, Papagayo's, I think, um, directors and management hid a lot and was told, obviously, not to say anything. Um, obviously the police and I think Roman had a lot to do with um, pulling uh, basically uh, CCTV cameras uh, which have been um, obviously crucial to this case and it's very 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 sad that we haven't got a timeline because like I said with a timeline they knew we'd be able to work out um, what was what and that is important in any case um, especially as this one is um, still a bit of a, a, a muddle um, because like I said there's only so much we have to play with as factual to be honest until the timings come up and I thought oh you know that 
The other thing is, is um, talking about um, Lucy, um, she's quite, a, um, seems to be got a sort of hands into a lot of things, um, should I say, in like uh, being a director and setting up businesses. Would you say that, Ali? Yeah, I mean, Lucy, <laughs> she's uh, quite a character, isn't she? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I got her a bit mixed up today, as you know. Um, and you put me right, thank goodness. Um, but um, no, I mean she's um, she's. I think she she's there to lure the young men to um, part with their cash and go to these festivals and, and deal the drugs, isn't she? So technically, um, she is the sort of um, honey <laughs> trap, should I say? Yeah, that's a good name for it. <laughs> Um, just a bit more about the um, uh, basically BLD coffee um, takeover um, at Potter Papers uh, Bar. Wasn't why wasn't it listed or um, talked about as well? I don't know. I mean, who knows? Um, it's um, you have to be a member to be there, and it's twenty euros a year. But okay. You cannot you cannot go and participate in the smoking of weed. It was, sorry, it was, it was um, listed originally, but taken off um, for uh, basically that. It wasn't a go ahead with the NRG because of um, uh, logistic um, reasons um, that was for. But um, like I said, that cafe um, was um, still open, obviously trading, obviously under his uh, own name. It was definitely still open. That because day. that's basically what it is, unless you are a member and you you have to go and you know it's all got to be verified. One of the problems, um, one of the problems we've got, we got it recently. It's um we've got it as the secret garden rooftop. Um, yeah, Gally to Weed Cafe, but we've had other names on this as well, haven't we? Well, that was just a sheer fluke because um, uh, I, as you know, I. I with my job, I used to have to deal with companies and what have you and check them for the National Lottery and that. But a part of the medical thing, the uh, actual name and address of the secret garden came up and I thought, well, that used to be my patch. Mm. And of course, I knew something a bit about that, but I'm having to look at a Thank you. Company. Thank you, Fiona Davis. Much appreciated, darling, for supporting the channel. Uh, Guys, it's going to leave it um, there. That was a little bit um, about Ali basically talking to uh, management at um, Papageo's. Um, they only really discussed um, circumference stuff. They didn't really want to go in deep or give us um, information that we really, really needed or a timeline uh, which we were fishing for, which is fair enough. Um, but hopefully um, this may all come out um, in the wash. And that was part three, people. Uh, don't forget to subscribe uh, to the channel. And once again, thank you for listening.